Shark Arm Case The Shark Arm Case refers to a series of incidents that began in Sydney, Australia, on April 25, 1935 when a human arm was regurgitated by a captive 3.5-meter tiger shark, subsequently leading to a murder investigation and trial. The tiger shark had been caught and transferred to the Koji Aquarium Baths, where it was put on public display. Within a week, it became ill and vomited in front of a small crowd, leaving the left hand and forearm of a man bearing a distinctive tattoo floating in the pool. Before it was captured, the tiger shark had devoured a smaller shark. It was this smaller shark that had originally swallowed the human arm. Fingerprints lifted from the hand identified the arm as that of former boxer and small time criminal James Jim Smith, who had been missing since April 7, 1935. Holmes had employed Smith several times to work insurance scams, including one in 1934 in which an overinsured pleasure cruiser named Pathfinder was sunk near Terrigal, New South Wales. With specimen signatures from Holmes' friends and clients provided by the boat builder, Brady would forge checks for small amounts against their bank accounts that he and Smith then cashed. Police were later able to establish that Smith had been blackmailing Holmes. Brady had rented a small cottage in Talumbi Street, Cronulla at the time Smith went missing. A taxi driver testified that he had taken Brady from Cronulla to Holmes' address at 3 Bayview Street McMahon's Point, New South Wales on the day Smith had gone missing, and that he was disheveled, he had a hand in a pocket and wouldn't take it out, it was clear that he was frightened. Initially, Holmes denied any association with Brady but four days later, on May 20, 1935, the businessman went into his boat shed and attempted suicide by shooting himself in the head with a .32 caliber pistol. In early June 1935, Holmes decided to cooperate with the police in investigating the murder of Smith. Holmes had been due to give evidence at Smith's inquest later that morning. The coroner's inquest into Smith's death began on June 12, 1935 at the city coroner's court led by Mr. E.T. Oram, the same day Holmes was found dead in his car with gunshot wounds to his chest. The shark arm murder suggests that Smith was killed by Brady on the orders of gangland figure Edward Frederick Wayman, who was arrested while attempting to defraud a bank with a forged check in 1934 and later during a bank robbery, apparently due to information Smith had given to the police. The police charged Brady with the murder of Smith although he was later acquitted. The investigation into the murder of Smith and his severed arm became legendary in Australia's legal history, 93 C220 F1 FB6F.